Holistic Approaches to Anti-Aging and Weight Loss. This is a video I've been wanting to make for quite some time now because it's not about losing weight. It's not about being healthy. It's about having a holistic approach to losing weight and being healthy and aging well because what we all want is to die young at a very old age. Holistic approach to anti-aging and weight loss are not new. For centuries, people in Middle Eastern societies have cultures that believe a holistic approach to diet, exercise, and stress reduction are important for a long life. Unlike conventional anti-aging approaches, which involve the use of anti-aging creams, serums, or even dramatic, drastic measures such as cosmetic surgery, holistic approaches aim to target and heal the problem that is at the root of the aging process. This contrasts with terms of traditional anti-aging approaches, in which it is usually just the symptoms of the aging process that are treated. Hol basically, holistic approaches to anti-aging involving slowing down the repercussions of aging in the human body by addressing key elements believed to play a significant role in unhealthy aging and ensuring the patient is returned to or kept at an optimal state of health and wellness. Holistic approaches to anti-aging are based on various factors that cause you to age. Stress, diet, and sleep all affect your weight, appearance, and the rate at which you age. These factors may cause your skin to look unhealthy. Free radicals. You know, free radicals are a major issue, and most of us don't even know what the hell they are. Well, free radicals are an indirect cause of aging. This is because they cause inflammation in the human body, which in turn may lead to accelerated and unhealthy aging. In order to prevent free radicals from damaging the body, you must consume foods that contain large amounts of antioxidants, which are nutrients that fight the effect of free radicals. Let's look at this picture before we go what the, those free radical foods are. You know, sun, UV ray and radiation, smoking from cigarettes, carbon from uh, cars, exhaust, CO2, uh, pollution, stress, poor nutrition, not eating or having a healthy diet, they cause inflammation, which has been found to be one of the major causes of diabetes, heart trouble, cancer, uh, dematritus, uh, aging, Numerous, numerous ills all come from free radicals that are caused by the exterior of our body affecting the interior of our bodies. Whole foods highest in antioxidants, most antioxidants. Blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries. Kidney, pinto, and black beans. Cranberries, artichokes, prunes, apples, red delicious, granny smith, and gala, Ga granny smith. Pecans. Sweet cherries, black plums, potatoes, and plums. You know, we're telling you that you should have a handful of nuts every day between dinner and bedtime. It helps your digestion and gives you a lot of good antioxidants. You could also combat the damage caused by free radicals by supplementing your diet with vitamins B, C, zinc, and magnesium. To maintain a health, a youthful appearance, it is highly recommended to drink large quantities of water. By drinking water, you are not only rehydrating your body, water also improves skin elasticity and reinforces healing collagen, which will slow the manifestation of wrinkles and sagging. And there you are. How do you become old? Don't drink enough water. Your body will dehydrate and it will force the collagen uh, healing powers to reduce and, and increase the wrinkles and skin sagging. Omega-3 fatty acids. In order to function correctly, your body needs essential fatty acids, including omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. These are fats that are healthy for you, and they aid the cells to function correctly and support heart health. Heart disease is the number one killer of a man, American men and women, and nowadays more women than men, and it is leading cause of death in other countries around the world. Prevention is key to remain healthy and keep heart disease at bay through our older years. Furthermore, fatty acids support skin health. 
you know, if you want to look pretty and you want to look youthful, it's all how your skin looks. And, you know, I made a wonderful video on coconut oil, and I'm recommending it to the heavens because it has made a dramatic difference in my face, my turtleneck, my turkey neck, uh, my arms, and, and all those uh, stretch marks that we all suffer as we age have been closing up little by little. Uh, foods highest in fatty acids, grains and nuts, bread, cereal, flaxseed, peanut butter, oatmeal, pumpkin seeds, walnut, fresh produce, parsley, kale, spinach, Brussels sprouts, mint, watercress, fishy, fatty fish, halibut, herring, trout, fresh tuna, mackerel, oysters. Foods fortified with omega-3, eggs, milk, juice, soy milk, yogurt, oils, flaxseed oil, soybean oil, walnut oil, coconut oil, and cod liver oil. You know, they don't, uh, on this diagram, they don't have coconut oil. But a word to the wise, get to know about coconut oil. It'll make a dramatic difference. Omega-3 essential fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are most important as they bring balance to our hormones, reduce inflammation, there's that magic word, inflammation, reduce our blood sugar, prevent blood clogging, keep our cholesterol and triglycerides in balance, relax our blood vessels, and make ourselves healthy and resilient. Flax seeds, navy beans, pecans, cold water salmon, walnuts, leafy green vegetables, winter squash, kidney beans, cold pressed olive oil. You know, this is the omega-3 essential fatty acids. And one of the things that I've been telling everybody is eat nuts. It's so important to get them into your diet. And they're so tasty. And they take the place of candy, cookies, crackers, cake. Poor blood circulation. Poor blood circulation is another factor that causes you to age. Practitioners of holistic medicine often employ cayenne pepper to boost circulation. Cayenne pepper enables blood to circulate more freely by diluting the blood vessels, thus carrying necessary oxygen and nutrients through the body. Cayenne pepper has additional benefits as well. It straightens your immune system and thins blood, reinforces the heart, and regulates blood pressure and palpitations. Now, how do you know you have poor blood circulation? Well, number one, numbness in hands and feet. Number two, persistent fatigue and tiredness. Number three, sudden hair loss. Number four, swelling of lower extremities. Five, varicose veins. Six, skin discoloration. Seven, cold hands and feet. Eight, the dreaded one for men, erectile dysfunction. Nine, thickness or heaviness in the chest. Ten, weak immune system and slow healing. You know, you get a cut, it doesn't heal quickly like when you were young. And one of the things is that you got poor circulation bringing the vitamins and nutrients that your body needs for healing. Another culprit, stress. Stress reduction is so important. One of the most important elements of holistic medicine is reducing stress. Stress affects the whole body and causes imbalance that leads to disease and overall ill health and may greatly accelerate the aging process. In holism, stress reduction is seen as central to healthy aging and is considered a proactive effort. Meditation, relaxation exercises, yoga, and aromatherapy are often recommended to get stress under control. You know, aromatherapy, a lot of people poo-poo it, but it's been around for a long, long time. And if you haven't tried it, what do you got to lose? You have everything to gain. All of these tactics help to provide healing to the mind, body, and spirit and offer a balanced state for those who seek to improve their overall mental and physical wellness through younger and aging years. What activities can help? Here are some examples of activities that can help to refresh the body and mind. Taking baths, you know, instead of taking a quick shower, take a nice relaxing bath, put some aromatherapy on, do some reading while you're in the bath, doing some breathing exercise while you're in the bath, receiving back rubs and massages, you know, 
Every time you lose 10 pounds, go out and get a massage. Listening to relaxation tapes, I do that all the time. Writing in a journal, which is extremely valuable. Meeting with a friend, napping, walking, dancing. And I've been pushing this idea of going out to learn to do dancing uh, today a day. Swing dancing is big out there. Tango dancing is another big phenomenon. And getting into dancing schools and dancing groups and dances in general, you meet new people and get out of the house. Engaging in spiritual reflection, stretching, and listening to music. A smile says the same thing in any language. And what that means also is laughter. When you watch TV, go for comedy. Go for funny things. Don't, don't dwell on the, the walking dead or people going through stress. Get away from stress. Look for something that would de-stress you when you watch TV. We all watch TV, some more than others, but this is a way to protect yourself against aging. Exercise, and we don't mean muscle building. Working out also helps to preserve general health, thus ensuring that you age slower and healthier. Peak physical fitness means the body is in its best shape and able to keep you strong and healthy. You don't want to end up walking with a, with a cane or one of those uh, carriages that people use to get around. Physical exercise boosts the rate of your metabolism, which ensures healthy weight management through the aging years. Something of utmost importance since metabolism naturally slows as we age and gain weight because becomes more probable. Consequently, your age will not be strained by overweight and obesity, and the aging process will be slowed down. Something as simple as going for walks can, years, can add years to your life and reduce your waistline. Use it or lose it. You don't have to go out there running track or doing the 10-minute mile. You could go and just take a nice, easy walk every day. Bottom line. In conclusion, there are numerous holistic approaches to reducing the rate at which you age and to remain in optimal health and weight through the aging years. Holistic approaches never just address symptoms of specific health problems. They instead aim to return or keep the person to a state of balanced health, health between mind, body, and spirit. Holism toxic targets overall wellness, and when we are well, we we'll only get better with age. I've made every effort to make this available to you. This presentation is available for download on our website as a PDF for immediate download. Please share with everyone in your world if you want to help them die young at a very old age. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.